Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool appears to be stuck on your computer. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you happen to have it up on your screen, the first thing I'd actually recommend doing would be to give it some time. So if it appears to be stuck, it might still be working, but just graphically it hasn't updated the timer yet. So I would say, you know, step away, give it, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes and come back and see if it's made any progress. So that should probably be able to resolve the problem for most of you guys. However, if you want to attempt to rerun it in a configuration that it's not going to get stuck, so maybe you've tried running there a few times, it keeps getting stuck and then you shut down the computer, I will recommend that you guys maybe want to run it in a clean boot state and then you could just run it there, hopefully without interference, and then you could start back up your computer normally after that but just in order to get the scan done properly you might want to try doing that so that's what we're going to focus on in today's tutorial and in order to create a clean boot environment we're going to start by opening up the start menu type in msconfig best result should go back with system configuration go ahead and open that up Go ahead and select the Services button. Checkmark where it says Hide All Microsoft Services. And then anything checkmarked in here, you want to go ahead and select Disable All. And then select Apply and OK. Now you're going to go ahead and restart our device. Okay, so then at this point, attempt to run the memory diagnostic tool again. And then once you're done with that, I'd recommend opening back up the start menu, type in msconfig. Again, once you've already run the scan successfully at this point, you go ahead back into system configuration and head and head back to services, check mark versus hide all Microsoft services, and then enable all except the ones that you obviously want to keep turned off. Select apply and okay. You will need to reset your computer once again to save that. And that should pretty much be about it guys. So as always thank you for watching. Do a buzz to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.